have a nerve-wracking and exciting day today. Mr. Jason is here today. Too. So, um, we are currently on our way to the clinic to drop off uh, his specimen to get <laughs> tested. Um, and then we're going to the hospital to get my HSG test. Um, I'm excited. I think I'll be nervous once we're sitting in the waiting room because I don't know what to expect really. I like I kind of do, but I've heard from my sp my fertility specialist that um, it shouldn't be painful at all, just cramping. Um, and I've heard from other people that it's extremely painful, so I don't know. But anyways, I've got his little sample in there. I won't. Yeah. So anyways, we've got our sample. We're gonna drop it off, and then. We will update you as soon as we can about the HSG test. Wish me good luck. Hey guys, so we just dropped off the sample. Um, I think for some reason I was more nervous for that part. <laughs> um, but yeah, we dropped it off and and it really wasn't that bad. If anybody's worried or nervous about dropping off sample, they're very professional. Um, and if you're not awkward about it, they're usually not too awkward. That's so why I tried not to be super awkward. I probably was a little bit. But yeah, so we're off to the hospital now. Hey guys, it's Brittany here. I hope you're doing amazing today. So, today is an exciting video. <laughs> we had a very, very eventful day. Um, we dropped off my husband's sperm sample um, at the clinic to be analyzed. We did my HSG test and then we went for a fertility um, specialist appointment. So it's been a very crazy day of fertility stuff. So I just wanted to explain how my HSG test went and and honestly there was a part that kind of hurt a little bit but most of it was really simple, straightforward and super quick and didn't really hurt much at all afterwards so if you're nervous about getting an HSG test it's totally fine. Yeah so what I did was I just took two aspirin um, before the procedure. I went into the hospital imaging center and waited for my fertility specialist to come there. Um, I got in my little gown <laughs> that was very short um, and you don't have anything on underneath so it's kind of like ooh. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, and we went into the room. They had this big table with the um, big table with this x-ray machine that kind of gets pulled over top of your stomach area. Uh, it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all. What my doctor did was she got me to kind of go in like a frog position because they didn't have the table that you usually do to put like a speculum in. Um, they So they just had to kind of improvise. Um, which she said it does make it a bit more painful, but it wasn't too bad. So a cool thing, we're kind of making jokes about it. They had this poster on the ceiling to help people relax and focus on something else. It was like all these dolphins and stuff. It actually did help. And that actually did help me relax because I just tried to breathe and picture like the ocean and relaxing there and stuff. Um, and part of it you had to kind of just breathe through and concentrate. For the actual procedure, she had the speculum warmed up and then inserted the speculum which is like a little bit painful always going in and then she had to you know how speculums like they can twist it at the bottom sort of thing and then it opens up like this to open up um the area to look at she opened it up to like the maximum and that was really kind of painful i was like oh my god it just feels like tons of pressure and it feels like almost like you're to the limit of how much pressure um you can feel down there but um, I just kind of trusted that I know that she's not going to push it too far and damage anything. So I was like, it's okay, it's going to feel like that for a while, but it's safe, it's not going to hurt me. And so I was fine, I just um, breathed through it. Um, the only part that actually kind of hurt, like that was a lot of pressure, but the only part that kind of hurt was she said that my cervix wasn't wanting to open. Um, and so I was trying to deep breathe and relax and stuff to help it open, but 
um, she had to take this little tool. I'm not sure what it looks like, but basically it takes, you go into the cervix and spreads it, <laughs> and that really hurt, because that actually felt like, um, it actually like pinches the sides and pulls them. Um, so that part was like, <laughs> it felt like, like she said, kind of like a pinch and like a pulling on something in there. Um, so that hurt a little bit, but it only hurt for, um, a second until she got the catheter in, which I didn't even feel the catheter. That's what I was most worried about. The catheter was really good. Um, and she got that in really fast, and that was good. So, um, as soon as she removed the, um, that side clip there, then it was fine. It still felt like a lot of pressure, but it was definitely, like, not painful, just a lot of pressure. <laughs> and I literally didn't even notice her putting the liquid in, like, the stuff that the x-ray detects in there, um, but apparently she did. Um, she put it up the catheter and she went and took about five pictures um, on the screen. I could see them all, which was really cool. Um, and yeah, and then it was all done. As soon as she took the speculum out, I still had some cramping, but it was like so much better. And it probably took a minute for all of the painful stuff to, um, happen and then it was just a little bit of cramping like period cramping um, and pressure down there and then it was totally fine so that was awesome. It always feels a little bit weird too because the um, liquid all comes out again that she put in um, and you do I have been bleeding a little bit it's just um, some like medium spotting since the procedure and she warned me about that which is totally fine like I came and put a pad on and everything just in case. But it's nothing crazy, just a little bit of spotting. Yeah, that was basically the whole procedure. It really, um, I was kind of nervous going in, but mostly excited to get it done. And it was really cool to see what my uterus looks like. And the good news is I have no blockages. It went through perfectly and quickly. Um, she said that I do have a heart-shaped uterus instead of a triangle uterus, and she, but she said that shouldn't be a problem. Looks like there's plenty of room for a baby to grow in there, um, but it's an actual, like, it le legitimately looks identical to a heart. It's like, boop, boop. <laughs> um, and it's not bicorneate or anything, so that's really good. But it is heart-shaped, so she's kind of just keeping that in mind, um, that it's slightly no shaped not normally, um, but she said it's totally fine that it's heart shaped as long as it's not bicorneate. Bicorn, I don't know how to say that. Bicorneate <laughs> uterus where it's divided. But yes, yeah, so that's all really good news. She said everything looks perfect on there. Um, and yeah, and then we had our appointment right after that. I filmed a video about our appointment and also I did a demo of how to use a Wanfo OPK. So I, I really hope that helps you guys. Um, she was very nice, it wasn't awkward at all, and there was a nurse there and she was like telling me to breathe and just being really sweet and checking in on me and stuff and they were all very very kind, making sure I was feeling okay and everything and it was just, it was a good experience, it wasn't bad at all honestly, it was really fine. So I'm happy to have that done and to be able to know I don't have any blockages down there, so that's awesome news, it makes me feel really good um, to check that off the list. I hope that helps anyone who's going to get an HSG test anytime soon or is just curious about this. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!